Hello and welcome to your Newsmax Now update. I'm John Bachman. We are waiting for the official number from the White House, but reports show that enrollment numbers for the Affordable Care Act will be way, way below the initial estimates. The Wall Street Journal now reports that only about 40,000 Americans in 36 states have signed up through those federal exchanges found on healthcare.gov. That website has been open now for six weeks, but continues to have trouble. Over the last few weeks, the Obama administration has been trying to manage the expectation of members of Congress, as well as the American people. But these numbers could still miss that lower threshold recently set by Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. Enrollment numbers, which will be the first month of enrollment, right. are likely to be quite low, given the struggles that people have had getting access to the site. The administration originally had hoped that about half a million people would sign up in the first three months, but so far, they've reached less than 5% of that goal. And officials in the Philippines are now revising down the initial death toll in the wake of Typhoon Haiyan. It's expected to be closer to 2,500, still terrible, rather than the 10,000 initially thought. The lower death toll is not much consolation either to the survivors of the storm, which left tens of thousands homeless. Aid organizations from around the globe have continued to mobilize. Their focus is now reaching the areas that have been flattened by the storm, but are also isolated from major ports or highways. The International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies is launching an international appeal for Swiss francs 72 million. That's uh, roughly 78 million in US dollars or in Australian dollars around 84 million. This is for initial assistance only. And in Oklahoma, Senator Jen Inhofe, his attention will understandably not be focused on Washington this week. His son Perry died in a plane crash on Sunday. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel confirmed late last night. That plane crashed around 4 p.m. Sunday north of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Inhofe, 52 years old, the son, worked as an orthopedic surgeon. It wasn't immediately clear if Perry Inhofe was flying the plane when it crashed. The NTSB said it is currently investigating this crash for a cause. Meanwhile, Perry Inhofe leaves behind a son and a wife. And a newly released poll shows that more than two thirds of Americans favor raising the minimum wage. Most of the people surveyed in this poll by Gallup said the lowest legally allowable hourly pay rate should be lifted from $7.25 all the way up to nine bucks an hour. Some states across the country have already started to lift the minimum wage above the federal standard. That's in Gallup poll also shows that a 5% increase in of those who favor raising the minimum wage compared to the last time they took this poll back in March. Coming up next on your Newsmax Now update, an exclusive interview with Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. And which building measure, measures up is America's tallest? It was supposed to be the new Freedom Tower, but is it? Attention seniors and baby boomers. A new website has been created just for you. SocialSecurity311.com At SocialSecurity311.com we reveal a weird trick that could help you add $152,000 to your Social Security payouts. For example, did you know how you file for Social Security can dramatically change the amount of money you collect? One simple step could add up to $1,000 to your monthly payouts. And other loopholes we found reveal 33 ways for big savings on your health care. At SocialSecurity311.com, you will also discover how you could save up to 50% on your groceries, along with 49 other ways to save as much as $50,000 starting today. Newsmax says this website is a critical resource for anyone over the age of 50. So go to SocialSecurity311.com now to find out how you could add extra money to your Social Security checks. That's SocialSecurity311.com. SocialSecurity311.com. Are you worried about not having enough money to retire? Finally, there's a retirement solution designed to address the damage that the government spending policies and the Federal Reserve have inflicted on the value of the dollar. Introducing the Heritage Advantage IRA, the new gold and silver-backed retirement account from Heritage Gold Group. Don't let the declining value of the dollar put your retirement in jeopardy. The Heritage Advantage IRA puts retirement savers back in control with physical gold and silver combined with the tax advantages of an IRA. Call 855-GOLD IRA to request your free no obligation Heritage Advantage IRA kit. Inside, you'll find information about how to buy physical gold and silver with your existing IRA or 401k. No additional investment required. Call 855 Gold IRA for your free Advantage IRA kit. Don't wait. Plans for new regulations may eliminate rules allowing you to buy gold and silver with your existing IRA or 401k. Call 855 Gold IRA. That's 855 465 3472. What is Lignet? Lignet is knowledge. Lignet is power. 
Lignet is global. Top level officials, US intelligence officers, national security advisors, foreign operatives, all reporting directly to you. What is Lignet? Lignet is confidential. Lignet is sensitive. Lignet is security. What is Lignet? They're the ones taking the world's pulse. If you're not in the know, you're not on Lignet.com. You've been briefed. In 2013, half of your friends, family, and neighbors may lose their jobs, all while you are robbed of 90% of your life savings, investments, and home's value. Controversial economist Robert Wiedemer, who was the only expert to predict the recession, has released a startling video with shocking evidence that the powers that be have tried to ban. But that hasn't stopped 50 million people from getting the truth. Watch it at AfterShockVideo.com. AfterShockVideo.com. And after some recent debate, the Freedom Tower in New York City is, as planned, the nation's tallest building again. The designation comes from a committee of architects chosen to decide between the still under construction Freedom Tower and the Willis Tower in Chicago, formerly known as the Sears Tower. That controversy started when some people started to say the changes to the spire of the Freedom Tower disqualified it from consideration. And during a Newsmax exclusive, we talk with former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin about religion and politics and the surging popularity of Chris Christie. Palin explained why Christie's popularity does not necessarily extend to Tea Party Republicans. So many Americans, me included, me being a proud participant in that grassroots movement that is referred to as the Tea Party, um, we are, are tired of politicians kind of vacillating on some very fundamental issues. This has been your Newsmax Now update. Now here's the Steve Malsberg Show, live from New York.